Given the recent increase in life expectancy, dementia has increasingly become a public health challenge and measures to prevent or delay the onset of dementia are urgently needed. Hello, I'm Dr. Katharina Wittfeld and I'm a postdoc researcher working at the German Center of Neurodegenerative Diseases and in the Department of Psychiatry and Psychotherapy of the University Medicine Greifswald. On behalf of my co-authors, I will speak about our paper titled Cardiorespiratory Fitness and Grey Matter Volume in the Temporal, Frontal and Cerebellar Regions in the General Population that will be published in the January 2020 issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Apart from increasing age and the APOE allele, the causes of Alzheimer's disease are largely unknown and treatment trials have been disappointing. This has led to increasing interest in the potential for reducing Alzheimer's and vascular dementia by targeting modifiable risk factors. Accumulating evidence from observational studies suggests that physical activity has a positive effect on brain health and cognition. However, so far randomized trials were not able to confirm changes in dementia through physical activity. Previous research has relied on self-report measures of physical activity, which are prone to recall and response bias. In addition, most studies use diagnosis of dementia or Alzheimer's disease, which could be subject to misclassification. Our study used objective measures of physical fitness and a deeply phenotyped outcome to address these limitations. We use data from the study of health in Pomerania. SHIP is a population-based study of adults from a northeastern German region. Cardiorespiratory fitness was measured using peak oxygen uptake, oxygen uptake at the anaerobe threshold and maximum power output from cardiopulmonary exercise testing on a bicycle ergometer. MRI brain data was analyzed on a global level with a segmented brain volumes, total gray matter, total white matter and total brain volume and on a local level with a high spatial resolution through analysis of voxel-based morphometry. We estimated regression models and adjusted for behavior and clinical confounders. Volumetric analysis of the global brain parameters revealed association of all three measurements of cardiorespiratory fitness with total gray matter and total brain volume. Cardiorespiratory fitness was not associated with total white matter. Results from the voxel-based morphometry analysis of peak oxygen uptake and maximal power output encompass several significant clusters that were positively associated with gray matter. The high correlation of 0.92 between these two cardiorespiratory fitness measures explains the large overlap of the significant clusters. Most pronounced were clusters within the temporal gyrus, the bilateral hippocampus and parahippocampus region and the orbitofrontal gyrus. The hippocampus area plays a central role in memory-related functions and was found in the context of Alzheimer's disease before. The orbitofrontal gyrus is involved in decision-making for emotional and reward-related behavior. Increased body area of astrocytes within the hippocampus, the medial prefrontal cortex and the orbitofrontal cortex was observed in an animal exercise model. Most of the clusters associated with cardiorespiratory fitness are not primarily associated with the motor cortex or movement processing. Potential endocrinal mechanisms of anti-inflammatory factors and neurotrophins like BDNF that have been found to be linked to increased physical activity and cardiorespiratory fitness might play a major role in neuroplastic effects, neuromodulation and recovery, which might lead to improved brain health and slower cognitive decline. Our results support the hypothesis 
that cardiorespiratory fitness might contribute to an improved brain health and decelerated age-related brain atrophy. To enhance the individual cardiorespiratory fitness, physical activity is strongly recommended and should be part of prevention programs to conduct a healthy lifestyle. As an outlook of our research, we are currently conducting longitudinal analysis of changes in physical activity, fitness and the atrophy of brain volumes. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.